Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome or welcome back to Stars Aligned Oracle YouTube channel and the Lucky Stars community. Let's start here and we're going to see what message needs to come through for you. This is a timeless reading, meaning no matter when you come across this message and it resonates with you, it is for you. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers, subscribers, and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right, let's go ahead and jump right on in. Do stay till the end because we're going to get a fortune as well. So let's see, what message does Aquarius need to know, Spirit? What message does Aquarius ooh, need to know? I feel like we tend to, when, when I use this deck, which isn't very often, uh, it tends to be the same cards that come out. Ooh, interesting. A little bit different here. Okay. Interesting, interesting, but the, for the most part, it tends to be the love or the angels kind of cards that come out. Let's get a few. Oh my. Wow. I don't even know how many of those came out here. Let's see. I think that's all. Wow. -y. Lots of them here. Tree of Swords, Six of Cups, Page of Cups, Hanged Man, Strength, and Knight of Pentacles. So we got a lot of cards out here, Aquarius. Let's see. All right. Well, so these ones, Spirit is indicating, and these ones. So that's how this wants to play out. So, all right. So for this one, all right, you've got Angel of Love, which is number 49. Just gorgeous. Look at the energy coming through. This The heart chakra coming open here of course but this is coming through for a reason and so actually spirits indicating that it's time to go back or go to these first you got the three of swords and the six of cups so some of you really are heartbroken about something that happened in the past okay six of cups is kind of that nostalgia energy that memories right that that three of swords energy is that energy of sadness betrayal heartbreak suffering grief right? Or a lesson coming through. So some of you have been suffering with this, this pain, this heartbreak, or this broken heart from kind of the past or for a long time. And, or you've been ruminating on memories, reflecting on things that happened in the past, right? Um, having this energy of, uh, sometimes that six of cups can be a comforting or a connection or a reconnection kind of energy but with this three of swords of course it's coming through that this that potentially there was a connection or a reconnection that actually left you heartbroken once again and or you um, have been heartbroken for quite a while from something that happened in the past right um, something that you keep again ruminating on the memories or the memories keep coming back and kind of pulling you back to the past or to that direction okay so the angel of love is here within that um, spirit is coming through indicating that you have this angel that is here with you. This is number 49 that is really um, kind of offering a bit of tenderness to your heart. This um, energy of like, how, how can I explain this um, a kind of this vibration or, or this energy that's, that's working so hard, this angel or your angels coming through, working so hard to bring this vibration of love back into your life, kind of this tenderness, this energy of, you know, allowing to see kind of the past, but to see it for what it was and to let it go. You see the light coming through the wings, the flowers, this beautiful heart. For some of you, rose quartz, finding a rose quartz or a rose quartz even heart. I have a rose quartz heart somewhere. Um, not right here close. I, if I would have known, I would have had it, but, um, some of you may need to get a rose quartz and allow the energy to be, um, kind of kept within that rose quartz. You can clean it with the clear quartz, with selenite, um, in kind of, um, 
sometimes you can clean it, you know, out with under the full moon, right? It depends on kind of what works for you. And you can look up definitely information about that. But there is that energy coming through this healing energy, this angel of love coming through with this tenderness, with this vibration of love, kind of working to move that, that stale past pain and hurt kind of energy out and move into that vibration of love. Okay. Now you have the page of cups, interesting, and the hanged man coming through. So this is super interesting with that page of cups energy is that energy of, of really opening up, right? This, this angel of love is, is attempting to create this energy around you, right? Right. That vibration and that um, change and that tenderness is really working to open up that vibration of possibility. Some of you may actually be receiving messages like downloads or messages from your angels or your ancestors or your guides to really, really um, assist you. Some of you may actually be getting those messages in the form of dreams here, Aquarius, um, showing you kind of not the the bad, but kind of the reality, if that makes sense of the situation or that past or what have you, because you guys have been staying in that hanged man kind of energy, which, you know, not letting go or in this pause kind of energy, pausing life, not living life. Right. And, and your, your angel of love is really working to bring that, um, understanding that there are new, potentially ways of seeing things or there's potential new perspectives or to trust that there can be a new connection or potentially even a new love that can come in. But once you hold on to this as often or as hard as potentially we are, wink, wink, Aquarius, wink, wink. Okay. Um, it makes it more difficult for this to happen. Your angel of love is really surrounding you. But again, Aquarius, um, you can be guided. Okay. Your next card here is, is action, right? And it has the horses and what's coming through with this is you can be guided to water. You can guide a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. And that's kind of what's coming through here, Aquarius. Okay. You can guide a horse to water or you can guide an Aquarian, right? To kind of new love or new possibilities, new perspectives, tenderness, changing vibration, you know, allowing love in, opening up, letting go, what have you, but you can't force them. This angel of love can't force you because you have free will. You get to do what you choose to do. Okay. Now spirit is hoping, indicating angels are hoping, indicating, um, that it is time for you to take action in a new direction. This is number 17. It is action. This is a willingness to kind of do the work, right? Cause it's, it's time. It's time for you to let go. It's time for you to move forward. It's time to, for you to move towards new goals instead of continually looking back at the past. Okay. Your determined efforts need to, or must potentially Aquarius increase. Okay. You need to trust your angels. You need to trust your dreams. You need to trust your intuition. You need to trust the nudges that you're getting You're where you're being led Aquarius and take action. Okay you're, you're in this place, in the space of Christ where breakthroughs can definitely come about and where you can be creating results, right? Uh, as far as letting go, as far as, um, allowing for yourself to see the new perspectives, as far as even opening up to the idea, opening up to tenderness, being more tender, graceful, caring, and loving towards yourself even, right? And letting go of Kind of that past hurt, that past pain that you've been holding on to. It does take action. Okay. It does take moving towards what it is that you want instead of always looking back in the past. Okay. Wow. Aquarius. And then you have the strength and the knight of pentacles. So you see, it does take strength. It does take courage to allow yourself to move into this, right? Plus there's, there's perseverance. Sometimes when we begin to take action, to move forward, to, um, you know, allow for new perspectives. We can do it once or twice and then we can turn back around, right? Or keep looking back or look in the rear view mirror again or whatever it may be here, Aquarius. Um, and 
really what's coming through with the strength card is, is have compassion with yourself. Be in that very courageous state. If you look right, kind of a samurai with a sword, very courageous, kind of almost very interesting either way, but, um, you know, but perseverance, continue to go. Okay. Continue to move, continue to look forward, continue to move forward, continue with that action, continue with that movement of Christ, continue, 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 persist, persist, persist. And, you know, it could be feel very difficult for feel very minute by minute, second by second, difficult in the very beginning in the very few first stages, first days, what have you. But as you continue, it becomes more natural. It becomes more um, kind of habitual, right? And you just continue, persist, 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 right? And moving into that, hold that compassion, hold that grace, right? Um, allow that new perspective, the new opportunities to come through and they will continue to show up for you, okay? You have this energy of really having... Um, with that Knight of Pentacles, this energy of really taking responsibility for this. Now, this isn't a harsh, like, slap on the hand here, Aquarius. It's just, it's time for you to take action. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to stop looking in that rear view mirror, right? Um, it's interesting that this is the image that comes through for that. It's time for you to kind of kick back and relax here, Aquarius, instead of almost being uptight and or kind of in this perfectionism state withholding on to wince withholding on to kind of that past pain that past um, hurt okay sometimes we can do that with perfectionism as well something that becomes kind of habitual in positive or negative still can be something that we can um, create a habit around so if you're holding on to stuff from the past, pain, heartache, heartbreak, in any capacity here, Aquarius, if you're holding on to that, right, the angel of love can come and wrap her or their wings around you. But if you're, if you're feeling like the, that pain, that hurt, that heartbreak, however that's coming through, is your normal, even those, um, the, those wings wrapped around you, those wings of love, right, aren't going to feel um, like they fit or like it's real or like it works because it's outside of what has become normal. So, um, spirit and your angels and your ancestors and your guides really, really want you to pay attention here, Aquarius, take action and, you know, allow yourself to move out of this. Notice those dreams, write your dreams down because your dreams are giving you information that maybe you have, um, changed or shifted, uh, in one way or another, oftentimes when we continue to hold on to things, we can kind of shift or change the narrative or the direction that the, the events of the actual reality of things kind of went. We tend to skew it more toward the positive if we're holding on to it and wanting like a re reconciliation or to reconnect or whatever it may be, of Christ. And your dreams are coming through kind of with a reality check. So pay attention to those. Okay, let's let's get a, a ooh, fortune here before we close. Let's see. It says you are only starting on your path to success. You see, you are only starting on your path to success. This is, comes back to that persist, persist, persist. As long as you persist, Aquarius, as long as you continue, right? Because you're only starting. You're only starting on your path. As long as you continue, to persist as long as you continue to if you have a step back cool pick yourself up and continue to move forward right there will be success for you a new love a new tenderness whatever it may be new self-love right love connection bond with yourself um is going to be coming through there is success getting out of sitting in the wounds or ruminating over the past and and what have you of course is going to lead you into this whole new bright field or this new bright area a new bright path that you get to begin to journey upon okay gorgeous gorgeous message coming through here i do intend this resonated with you and for you if it did please do hit the like button and share this video it does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise 
Also feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.